hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel it's a brand new night got plenty to talk about you see who we're gonna talk about right child get your drinks ready get yourself seated in a comfortable position because nini has said some things that i thought he she would never say i didn't take her for a person to go back like backtracking because everything that's in your past i believe need to stay in your past okay before i get uh to it you know it's all about money but i thought nene was um positioning her money and investing her money well so she didn't have to put up with a lot of drama that she had to go through when you know she had her significant other with her great leaks you know uh i ain't talking about her joining another franchise like orange county or the beverly hills man she talking about going back to the real hot wives of atlanta i said now is that not a slap in the face it's this now, that ain't none of my business but you know how things are said quietly i like to speak them out loudly because i'm trying to find the sense in this and one thing I know for certain, and two things I know for sure, she finna make a fool out of herself. Cause them folks did not, well, maybe she trying to sell the house quicker. I don't know. Because she can't get out of that house sale. She slashed the prices by 200 grand, and it's still not moving. So maybe she's having some money problems that she's not really telling us, but in a sense telling us by trying to get this ridiculous appeal to go back sit at the table at the place same place they excommunicated you from they didn't want to hear about your grievances and even the whole deal that you wanted your followers or viewers or fans or how admirers however you want to uh, look at them to boycott the real housewives of atlanta the bravo franchise did you not remember that nene and this was just last year last year you on the bandwagon of destroying them and self-destroying yourself. You had nothing good to say about the Real Housewives of Atlanta and the execs. You even called Andy the R-A-C-I-S-T. Okay? With the S on it. For emphasis. And now you wants to go back to the same franchise that you had dissed. You pretty much buried them and put their headstone in the cemetery. But now you want to go back. So before I really get too deep into it, and I'm asking the same reason, Kat, why? Why would you want to humiliate yourself? Why would you think they're going to give you all that you asked for that you couldn't get prior to when you were on the show? They immediately going to just grace you with everything that you wanted? I mean, are you going to have to do some sacrificing, girl? What's, what's the deal? Because I'm, I'm kind of thinking now, you know, was uh, you, you know your husband a sacrifice? Because, you know, y'all get, get, get crazy around now in that hollow weird thing. Then you said you had some unfinished business to attend to? I'm like, who are you trying to go for now? Candy? You know Bravo likes Candy. Now, you may call her a hater. Because you don't like that she got all these spinoffs or a few spinoffs and they like her because you said she tried to stop your bag. And I know you ain't coming for Kenya because you were talking very nicely about Kenya. It came to your, you know, celebration you had for Greg and all that. And, you know, y'all broke bread, had drinks together. Everything seemed to be in perfect harmony. Harmony. <laughs> or is it Sheree you coming for? Girl, she can't even find her joggers. Or her she by Sheree Fashions. So you don't have to look for her too hard because she ain't hard to find. Because we still trying to help her find those items. But you were really on the bandwagon of destroying Bravo Franchise. And I got Claire Hustler looking at you like she crazy. She ain't Felicia Rashad. And I got Cat Wiz looking at you like you crazy. Girl, we are all on the sidelines. And it took the cake when I had to talk to Prince about it. Yeah. Yeah. You see how he discussed like, are you serious? Do you really think they're going to give you that dollar amount that you're searching for? No. And to have them try to use your antics to bring up the ratings when they didn't want you 
Because they really put you out to pastor and say it in good terms. Because you know a, a, a executive company such as that. They ain't going to try to dog you. You could dog them. And that's some nice makeup, Nina. You need to keep that shade and them colors going on. Make it look very beautiful. But I know you, you got a lot going on. You got that house that you can't sell. And you probably can't afford it no more. And you got that lounge over there that's making expenses. And you got payroll for them folks. Because they need their jobs. And you're like, where am I going to get all this extra money? Because I'm going to run out X, Y, Z time. Yes, because you were living like most people. And you know, hey, it just is what it is. We get out there, we think we're going to have this job for X amount of years. We're going to add on to some more jobs and some more um, streams of income. And we try to live below, I mean, above our means. And once you do that, sometimes you have to learn from those lessons and you have to downscale and live somewhat of a frugal life. Uh, which you probably could take some hints, some pointers from Candy. Because she's all about being that frugal. But I ain't never heard her asking for money or needing money or none of that. So you might want to check the new head out. Because the old head needs some financial lessons to be learned. Okay. And I'm sure Greg told you to do what makes you happy. But I don't think he would have agreed to you going back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. When they cost you so much detriment and pain and anguish you know what i'm saying so make it make sense nene i'm, I'm just not feeling it because unless you're going to do a whole 360 degree turnaround and change your attitude from being the hbic in charge and always will be in this that and the third because i granted yeah you are the longest running housewife and you come with some good gems and, you know, we love your little tags and all that kind of stuff. And you can get people straight. But, you know, we can feel better for you when you are humbled. And it don't seem like you're humble. Because even Whitney looking at you like you're crazy, girl. Like, are you going to be the same person that's been running these Atlanta streets? Not talking to nobody. Not want to be bothered with nobody. But then you want to get on the show and want some people to still follow you and agree with your stuff. Yeah, she was on the real y'all today trying to say, and I don't know what with that picture. I hate that picture of her. It does her no good. Make her face look, I don't know. Did she do something to her face? Because it just looked all puffied. Like she got some injections or something. It just looked plastic and hard. I don't know. But anyway, let's get on into this um this um, little short conversation the girls had with uh nini and the proposal that you know if she had the opportunity to go back to bravo would she and i was shocked i thought she was gonna like hey hell to the no 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 i'm looking for opportunities but it's not gonna be on that platform i'm really searching for my own show you know i'm putting out ideas out there i might have to market them them a little better and i might have to you know travel a little bit to talk with the right people but uh-uh negotiations to get your own show you deserve it you you're worth it you ain't no better than whitney williams you we know what her platform is shaped around pure gossip celebrity gossip so i'm pretty sure you could do something but to go back go backwards instead of going forward i'd rather for you to be stagnant for a while and go forward than to go backwards and think you're gonna run stuff when you couldn't run it you know then when you were trying so hard uh, but let's go get into the uh video where they were talking to nene leaks uh i think that's lenny love i think that's her and um garcia uh, so let's see if we can get it up for you. Let's see. Here we go. We all call him out. We're still chatting with Nene Leakes. Now, Nene, you married Greg in 1997 and again Woo. in 2013. Even Carmen is I disappointed at Nene. Said, you spent a lot of your life with him. What do you miss the most? You know, I miss Greg every day. I miss his touch. I miss being able to go to Greg for advice. Like, we all call him our problem solver. Oh. So I really miss, you know, being able to call him up and ask for his advice a lot. Well, you know, now, Nene, you're embarking on a new journey. What do you think Greg <laughs> would want for you? I know what Greg would want for me because we talked about it. Um, he wanted me to be happy. 
he wanted me to continue on. He wanted me, he said to me, he wanted me to love his children. His, you know, we, we have uh, my great children from his previous marriage. He wanted all of us to stay in each other's lives. Nice. So we text each other every week. Uh, and we weren't doing this, you know, when Greg was living. Um, we were a blended family, but he wanted us to be closer because there was room for us to get closer. So he wanted me to love his children, all of his children, and keep them all in my life. And uh, he wanted me to be happy. And uh, we've been working on that. That is oh, fantastic, great. you know. Well, yeah. the gentlemen, as you call them, have been sliding in your DMs. <laughs> so what do you have to say to men wanting to date you? Um, you know, shoot your shot. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let me see. You know, it's it's interesting uh, dating. Um, actually, um, you know, a few of my friends have been calling me up and saying, just kind of like being in the house a lot, being by yourself, it's like it makes you really depressed. It makes me really think, uh, you know, about Greg a lot. So. I've, I've gone out with my girlfriends and we've met up with different people. And one of my friends, Peter, has introduced me to somebody. Uh, we just saw like, hi, whatever. Uh, one of my girlfriends has introduced me to somebody. Uh, dating is hard for y'all. I don't know how y'all do it, though. <laughs> no it's kidding. Crazy. That's so funny. You'll get back into it. Yeah. Okay, Nini, let's talk about the Real Housewives of Atlanta for a moment. It looks like the cast is confirmed for season 14. Now, Sheree is returning, and Marlo finally got her beach. What do you think about the cast? Um, I honestly don't have any real thoughts about them. I know most of the, all of them. I've worked with them all. Mm -hmm. um, I think they'll do a good job. Um, so, yeah, they okay. <laughs> okay, but the question that people really want to know, Nini, you know it. Would you return? Yes, Nene. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll return to the show. Um, I'm okay with returning to the show as long as, you know, um, we can work through a few things. I'm happy to return to the show. And besides, I have a lot of unfinished business with a couple of them that they confirmed <laughs> on the show. Like, <laughs> what kind of business, Nene? <laughs> what, what could get you to come back? Um... I think uh, Andy and I were really close for a really, really long time. And uh, uh, I love Benny Boo and I helped pay for his baby shower and all those things. I think that Andy and I uh, need to have a sit down and talk and then we're off to the races. Well, hopefully you will be back. I know Andy, he's a great guy to talk to. I mean, you know, you can say that for sure. So let's see what happens, Nene. We wish you well, and we want you to come back in yeah. studio to see us, okay? I wanted to be there so bad. Oh, we wanted to have you here. I want to yeah. hug you. Yeah, yeah we got we to gotta hug. You know, I haven't been to L.A., so hopefully in the new year, you know, I'm barking on a new chapter in my life. I'm, I'm really happy, and I'm really excited about the future. Good. <laughs> Well, thank you, Nene, and, you know, continue blessings. Our thoughts and our prayers are with you and the entire family, okay? Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Lani. I can't wait to... You and your guy can introduce me to somebody, too. I, I, I will. I'll do that, and I got to get yeah. Garcelle, too. <laughs> okay, so, see, she's trying to rub heads with the women in um, L.A. Because uh, I think... Lonnie dates a Caucasian man or a British man or something like that. So I'm like, oh, so she wants to date out her race now? Okay, okay, never wrong with it, but can you handle it? And I really think Nene thought she was going to be uh, in control of a relationship, I guess. Because, you know, Greg was her senior and he was just a mellow fellow. And she had been with him forever. So it's just like going out with your best friend. You know what I'm saying? So, this is going to be a different world for her, for her because she's going to probably be introduced to some guys around her age or maybe a little older depending on what's her shin these days. But they're not going to be like Greg. That was like maybe a once in a lifetime thing where you got to almost in a sense dominate a man 
and you had your say and they were just like i ain't gonna say henpeg but they was like okay it's not worth it i love her she can do whatever she wanted to do just as long as she respects me so and that's pretty much how i felt they lived their life she was more so in control she was the boss she made it seem and even said on certain occasions when he was um getting ill or was you know that he didn't even know he had cancer at the time but he was just you know being uh i guess just not having just ill feeling i guess not feeling well and then certainly when she was ready to tell us all about his history with his bout with cancer then that's when we start you know putting them pieces together and seeing why he was uh looking so tired on the show and she would speed up in certain episodes she would be playing in and he would be walking behind her slowly and you know it all started to uh, make sense of what he was going through and what she had to endure being one of his caregivers and all that kind of stuff because it is you know when you take up taking care of somebody that's sick and you know up in age it is a daunting task trust me i will i know i know all about that life and i'm only 53 well i'm her same age but yeah just relatives you know not um me being married to somebody elderly but it's she got too much going on i'm like i don't want to see this nini i like the nini from when she first started and i think it was 2008 when the franchise came you know let's go get a woman you know position herself where she knows she's not gonna let anybody take advantage of her or make a fool out of her but still be kind of classy and mature about it See, this Nene we've been fooling with for the last four or five years. She's just been stuck on her cell. She's been rude out in public to, you know, admirers of her. And the show that platform she was on that we knew her from. Um, and so, I mean, she Nene wasn't like Kenya where Kenya actually was in the industry where she was out there trying to position herself in Hollywood or LA and you know the whole thing with getting cast for different sitcom shows or being in music videos and stuff of that nature um so I commend you know um Kenya for that because she was all about that life and Nene you know she was I guess a business owner where she had owned her own shop i don't know if she was doing hair at the time i, I don't know but her claim to fame was she had on her own business and you know she was doing real well and she was known in the community but my thing was you weren't a household name you might have been known in certain circles or whatnot but you weren't like gracing our tv screens and we would just spot you out if we were out and about here in atlanta so you know the platform real housewives of atlanta bravo gave you um definitely a, um a spotlight and a platform to grow on but it's just like you're not growing anymore you becoming to be more of a nuisance or somebody that's you know been tagged hard to deal with difficult this that and the third you haven't been nice to crew members you haven't been nice to cast members you haven't been nice to I hate to say the word fans, but that's pretty much what it is called, or admirers or followers, you know. Uh, they like you, and they fawn over you. I mean, they're in awe of, over you, and then you treat them like shit out in the street. And we know because we don't have video of press. You know, you're in the airport cutting the food. You're taking, slamming down somebody's camera. You're being rude with somebody that just want to take a picture with you or say hi. you in the store. Mind you, in a public store where ain't in a lockdown for you when you walk in and meaning the peasants such as us can't come in because you're a celebrity and you want this time to yourself. Okay, you just want the shop owner, maybe uh, one or two people to help you uh, shop around and fill your basket or whatever at your beck and call and those type of things. But no, you were in a uh, 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 um, public uh what do you call it beauty supply store where normal people go such as myself and you were being rude for somebody that recognized you you didn't want to pay them no mind no attention on that thing so i'm like how do you supposed to garner such support in your endeavors of wanting to succeed and have people really truly rooting for you to succeed but you have this effed up attitude i don't understand it, it, it just mind boggles me and it upsets me and you know it's none of my business but you know i'm like 
girl, where's the growth? It's like you're backtracking. You're uh, pedaling backwards instead of understanding where you are in your life, looking at your financial portfolio, and just sitting there and contemplate what do Nene Leaks want. If she wants to be in the entertainment field, then hell, pilot yourself like T.S. Madison did. Get your own YouTube channel and, and drum up a lot of more uh, supporters or whatnot. And, and and attack it from a different angle. Get your own talk show. I definitely feel you do deserve it. Because you definitely want to speak your mind. And you go on press tours. And go to these different outlets. Um, social media outlets. And they tape you. And they put you on blast for the whole world to see. So why can't you be like your. I want to say your friend. But I guess she's your ne uh, nemesis now. Your Achilles heel. I guess Wendy Williams. I would call her. But I'm like, I'm like Kramer the Frog. I don't know what's going on. He might need to talk to Piggy. And Piggy might need to come over there and talk to you. And, and talk about this money situation that you don't find yourself in. Because ain't no sense of going back to something that caused you nothing but stress. Okay? Well, you had to go seek a legal eagle attorney and put her on retainer for some senseless stuff. Because we never heard anything of it. They just dropped you from their roster. Okay, as you say, they were weeding you out or driving you out. So why would you want to go back um, and deal with these people again? Bravo franchise. You know, go with Deb Mar. What is it? Deb Deb Mercury. Deb Deb Mar Mercury. Over there with Wendy Williams. Go talk it up. You're free now. It's just you. You can come and go as you want. I'm still trying to figure out why you didn't travel to L.A. and be on the set with the with ladies at the real. Uh, you didn't have anything holding you here, per se. But that's just me thinking. Me trying to zoom into your life, thinking I know everything, which I don't. All of this is of my speculations and my opinions. But I'm just like, you know, even if I was your best friend, I'd be like, okay, what are you going to get out of this? Really? Are you going to be happy with what they pay you? And then you were saying they paid you a certain amount last time, but they only, they limited your episodes of being seen and, you know, in the season. So it's like, ugh. Girl, you just keep beating yourself up. And, you know, just, you, you keep fighting your own self. It's like you're your worst enemy. So, and I, you know, I, I give you grace. I give you bereavement time. But I just really think you need to sit down somewhere. I mean, you can make these candid interviews. And hopefully you're getting paid for it. Because I wouldn't be trying to talk to nobody if they, unless they paying me to uh, be on their, what do you call it, platform. Child, please. You ain't got time to waste no more. Greg, you ain't got Greg social security money no more. Feeding, you know, into the funds of the bank account. Okay. So every dollar needs to count that you do for these press tools. And shoot. You should be sitting up there going up there and be a radio personality for a while. Get a check from that. That's what Portia did. She drawn Real Housewives of Alone. And before it was over with, she was on Disney Nation and a Ricky Smiley Morning Show. I mean, it seems like you could handle yourself on the airways. Go on up there and make that, do that dollar. Then you can still give you free publicity about your lounge or the lounge that you're sharing uh, ownership with you and your son, Brent. And hopefully he's taking some classes on how to manage a restaurant or lounge so he won't um, fall short of his earnings. If that's what he's going to be doing f uh, full time. But girl, Nene, I just I was just disappointed. I was like, what in the what in the world? What in the Sam Hill is going on here? This is what do you call it? Anarchy. We got anarchy going on up in here. Nene saying she finna go back to the real housewives. Of I'm like, girl, uh, is, is you going back as a producer? Is you going back as an executive? Cause I damn sure don't want to see you up here fussing with Kenya. No more. Uh uh. You don't got too old for that. When we get in our fifties, close to our fifty five, it's time to cut out the bullshit. It's time to sit down, think about what we're doing and our actions, and sail on into retirement peacefully. Okay? Ain't time to be sitting up here and fuss with no women. Uh uh. That time has gone and passed. You, uh -uh, you don't even look good doing that no more. You know? Let it be for the young folks, you know. But you, mm -mm, no, needy, not a good look, not a good look. But that's all I had to say, y'all. I had to get out here because it upset me. It really did. And I was on over uh, House of Errands, 
uh, House of Aaron. He's another YouTuber, and I was over there talking with her. I think her name was Nadine Leo. We were having a conversation about it, and she made some good points. She made some good points, but I was always told, mm -mm, you don't burn no bridges, and she damn sure burnt the bridges over there at uh, Bravo Entertainment. True original. She she said some scandalous things. I'm like, girl, I want to go sit at that table. That's a devil's table, child. You really have to sell your soul over there because you don't cut the food. You think they forgot about you cutting the food? No, they ain't forget about that. Mm -mm. They ain't forget. They ain't forgot, girl. So if they can't give you a show of your own, you need to leave it alone, honey. Cause then it making you look desperate. Like you ain't got no money from the time you were on Real Housewives of Atlanta. You know, I know the house over there, and it's not selling. It's not selling. But maybe you need to drop it down a little further. Just to get, because, you know, it could be a sinking ship. It's a sinking ship. Is it costing you too much to upkeep? Just get, just get what you can out of it. Cut your losses and go get you a little gated community condo or something like that. Because you don't need nothing big no more. Mm -mm. You don't need nothing big. You need something. Uh, Shit, I don't know. Go see what Wendy doing. Well, you know, Wendy got a penthouse. She lived that New York life. So that's a whole nother different era when you being in the South and you liking acres and all this kind of stuff. And because you ain't Oprah. Your money ain't running that deep. You, you know, and you got short money. And then just, you know, face it what it is, short money. Not trying like I know what's all in your bank account or anything. But these, how you moving and shaking around here look like you got short money. But anyway, y'all get out in them comments and y'all talk to me. And tell me what y'all thought about this nene trying to backslide, trying to backpedal, and, and trying to act like she ain't did nothing, said nothing, and had us on her bandwagon that she want to go back to the camp. That uh, forced her out, drove her out. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she was claiming everything for racism, discrimination, um, discriminating against women. And then I think she got, they were discriminating against her age. I got, she was claiming some everything over there. And I'm right there with her. I'm like, that right, Nene. You built HIV. You built that show. You know, it's coming off on your backs. But you got to give it to the other ladies, too. They don't contribute. You ain't do it all now. You were one of the four founders, and I can uh, grant you that. But Kenya has definitely did her job. Portia has done a, a wonderful job. Hell, Marlo, she wouldn't even hold a peach at the time. And she was showing up and showing out. Um... Um, what is her name? Uh, Kim. Kim did what she could. You know, she did what she could. Cause she wasn't trying to fool all these black ladies and trying to be, you know, sitting up there acting like she could understand what they were going through. She didn't understand because she was messing with married me a long time ago and she lived the plush life. <coughs> Even though she's educated, was a nurse, she didn't practice. She didn't practice at all. But, uh, yeah, and they can bring Fraser back. You know what I'm saying? They bring you back here. They might bring Fraser back and, and toss Candy out or something. But I think Candy ready to go, too. If she keeps striking gold with some different plays she's getting involved in and producing, she may let it go. Because she knows this uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. It ain't nothing but a ratchet show. A ratchet elderly show, to put it bluntly. Because you ain't got all these young folk running around here like Love and Hip Hop. But they pretty much trying to make it just where it ain't bearable no more. And just seeing you back on them, who are you finna clown with? Because you don't clown with every last cast member that it was. You still say you got some uh, grievances with some cast members that were, you know, brought back to the show. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see it. I want to see growth. That's what I want to see. Uh, they need some growth, some maturity. Let some shit go. You know what I'm saying? You can't fight with these folk all the time. You don't have the energy. And your mind shouldn't even be there at the time. But that's all I got, y'all. That's all I got. Y'all get down in the comments. If you like it, love it, got to have more of these type of videos, put it down in the comments. Let me know what you want me to talk about, what you want me to research. Okay? But other than that, please like and share. Share, share, share my videos. Okay, guys? Share my videos. Share my stuff. Share my stuff now. All right? And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.